Hello everybody, it's Michelle Devane and welcome to the another episode to the, of the Kitchen Diva. Today I want to talk to you all about making a essential oil. What I'm talking about lads and lassies is I'm talking about making a rose oil. Here's exactly what you're going to need in order to make it. Alright? Saffron oil or almond oil. It doesn't cost a lot and depending on where you shop it's it's fairly cheap. Secondly, what you're going to need is either fresh or dried rose petals and four cloves. And lastly, you're going to need a glass bottle. Unfortunately, this one is plastic and it's a collector's item from the Coca-Cola company as we all can see. Okay, so here's how you do this oil. You take and you put your rose petals and you take and you add your cloves in the bottle together and then you take and you put your almond oil or your saffron oil down inside the bottle. Then you take and you put the cap on and you tighten it down and you shake it up thoroughly. After you've shaken it thoroughly, you can set it on, you're going to need to set it on actually, um, a shelf where you can get plenty of sunlight or a windowsill where it can get plenty of sunlight for six weeks. During that six weeks period, you can go by, take it down off the shelf, take the lid off, take a good whiff to see how well the rose petals and the cloves are helping to permeate the uh, saffron oil or almond oil. If all else is going well, all you have to do is just put the lid back on, tighten it back down, shake it thoroughly again, set and then set it back on the shelf or back in that window. And once it's done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set it where it won't get any sunlight. Now, of course, if you're creative, like I am, you can make bath salts with it or you can make uh, scented candles when you make homemade candles you can put it in your in your paraffin when you make your homemade candles or you can make uh, homemade perfume but those are episodes I plan on doing later on down the road okay so uh, that's just uh, basically it now, I do want to remind you all that it is still Veterans Day around the world, so let's not forget our veterans, okay? Now, um, until we meet again, I want to wish you chocolate dreams and champagne wishes, and bye-bye. <laughs>